Thanks to the court wizard in solitude, I had been able to use my collected soul gems and the daggers I had been making to improve my enchanting skills. I was also working on clearing the road from Dawnstar to Whiterun. Groups of bandits had taken over old forts on the roads and were using them to raid caravans. The bands have been attacking lightly armored guards and merchants. So they weren't really prepared for a heavier armored warrior. Had time to get lost, friend. The boss was a different matter though. He was a big strong orc, but so he wasn't used to fighting someone in a fire cloak. Quite a number of them down in the mine as well. I could smell fuel oil down here, so I had to be careful not to use the flame cloak. Still learning a lot from the orcs, both in use of my armor and in um, my mace. Once I had cleared the road, it allowed me to raid the big bandit camps around White Run. This was a group of poachers that were living in a mine. This time I decided to use the fuel oil against them. all these poachers have been killed by the giants. I've gotten good enough at alchemy to be able to produce a potion that allowed me to permanently improve my strength and stamina just using troll fat and saber cat eyes. Now ain't this a surprise? I have no idea how White Run functioned with all these bandit camps around it. 
did allow me the opportunity to try out some new spells. There's also plenty of wildlife to fill my soul gym. My bandit rating had been successful enough that I wanted to try a larger group yeah, at Fort Dunstead. With the roads clear, I was able to grab all the bandit's gear and bring it back to Winston Manor to break it down. I really started to be able to make more complicated, higher quality armor with all the materials I was gathering. Chavi and I put in a fish hatchery behind the house so that we could have fresh fish. I found a powerful soul gem in one of the bandit camps and this allowed me to build my own enchanting table. I was running low on soul gems, so I decided to make my way to the College of Winterhold. It really is an impressive sight coming up on it in all this frozen wasteland. the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. They wouldn't sell me soul gems unless I joined the college, but I probably needed training anyway, so made it made sense. Clear. Yes. I felt a little out of place among the other initiates, but everyone was welcoming. I've been doing some reading on the Galder legend and realized that one of the locations of the Galder uh, brothers was in Sarthal, a place they were excavating. 
The other initiates were going down there to explore the site. I asked if I could come along. I got there a little early and helped myself to some of the emergency supplies when nobody was looking. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. This is an exciting opportunity for us, to be able to study such an early civilization and the magic. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. You must be one of the new apprentices, then. Fine, fine. Just... just don't make a mess of my work, all right? Apparently there were just artifacts laying around everywhere. So I tried to go through carefully and find things that looked valuable. I found a necklace in laying in the door and when I picked it up, it locked me in and blocked my way back. Torf gear, so just as I put the necklace on and see what happened. Some kind of resonance. You and the wall. It must be connected to the amulet. I wonder what effect might your spell to. Well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. Weirdly, a powerful spirit Go appeared to, to me and began talking to me, claiming to be somebody from, from the Psychic Order. I Tolfter didn't see him at all. Where I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Psychic Order and danger. <laughs> Like the other Golder site, it was filled with powerful Draugr. I wanted to stay and study the chamber, but I thought that would be an opportunity to go ahead and look for a connection to the Galder legend.
place has powerful room traps, but they could take them out if you could see them. Tophtir caught up with me before I could find out any more about the Galder. Well now, would you look at that? In the final chamber, I saw another powerful Draugr like I had in the previous Galder site. But there was also this big orb that I didn't know anything about. Found another necklace and another note. I wonder if there's more. Tofter didn't seem very interested in the Galder, but he was very interested in that orb and sent me back right away to the College of William Winterhold to talk to the Archmage. In the small chamber behind the larger chamber, there was another Nordic wall which I absorbed some sort of power from. I'm not sure of its meaning yet. <laughs> 